so you know on top of you know going for my oil change which um is much needed um i've been having a uh, screen lifting issue on my uh infotainment area um i think it's called the infotainment area i'll show you guys in a second but yeah basically um it's separating and uh it seems to be um dodge doesn't have anything on record but there's been a, a number of complaints if you go and google you know this issue with, with the um the infotainment screen on the inside of your car uh well your mopar i should say dodge and i mean not dodge uh challenger and charger i don't i don't know for about other mopars but um the screen seems to separate after a, a certain period of time and uh, i don't think the florida heat um helps that uh that issue so i already called fca and um they put up a case number with me and the next uh the next step in seeing what can be done is uh going to the dealership and getting a diagnosis from them so uh like i said i'm on my way there and um i will catch you guys up after um you know after they tell me you know whatever it is that i can be done but um side note um i appreciate the comments that you guys are leaving um i super appreciate that i i know i'm not super consistent with video posting um i i'm trying i'm trying to get better at it the thing is guys is that i do a lot of behind the scenes work you know you know i i develop flyers i'm developing graphics for you know multiple people on and off youtube um I will, I've been thinking about switching up my content in, in order to, you know, bring you guys into what I do, um, that's out, well, not really outside of cars, but it's related to the car community in terms of, you know, graphics and stuff like that. Um, I just got to iron some things out first to, to make sure everything is uh, good. And then I also got to figure out how I'm going to show that content to you guys. But yeah, um, so that, that's my update with content. Um, I'm looking at different ways to bring uh, new content, new fresh content to you guys. Um, also too, I'm uh, going to be, um, well, it's not really a mod, it's more of a um, maintenance thing, but you guys can stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys up when I'm back at the dealership. I gotta focus on this uh, Tampa traffic because it's ridiculous right now. Um, it's uh, 7:47 in the morning right now, and um, I probably picked the worst time to schedule a um, an appointment at the Dodge dealer. But I just took it and didn't really think about it, so that's my fault. But yeah, I'll catch you guys up later um, when I get there. Peace. One hour later. All right, guys, um, things didn't go as expected. When I mean as expected, I didn't think that um, I was going to um, not have any time to record at the dealership. So uh, basically, what's going on right now is my infotainment screen that I was alluding to uh, earlier. Oh, that's, re that's a really good picture right there. Well, it's not a really good picture, but it's a bad picture, but you know what I mean. But basically, as you can see, it is lifting. You see how, where the seam is right here. Well, not at the seam, but you see where it's lifted on this side, but it's still down on this side. So that was what I was um, trying to get addressed. And um, basically, I'm just following the process that FCA has given me. Um, also, too, by the way, if anybody has dealt with this, I'm curious to see what your uh, outcome was. If you could comment down below, that'd be great. But yeah, that's uh, what happened. Also, too, um, I went to get an oil change, which uh, I was letting the car cool down a little bit because I need to uh, empty the oil catch can right there. So, yeah, I just figured I'd set the camera down. Um, you know, again, this is how much oil from the last time I emptied it. So let's uh, see what I get this time. But, yeah, as I'm unscrewing it, because, uh, you know, you do got to be careful here and it's still slightly hot so i probably should get some gloves or something like that a few minutes later okay scratch that um i couldn't find gloves but i 
got a little rag right here so it's not just going against my skin but uh yeah anyways i'm working with fca and um the current process god this is really oh there here we go there we go so i'm working with fca right now and uh the process that i took is i basically called the customer service line i uh um, then spoke to a uh, customer service representative. Um, she, at the time, gave me a case number and recommended that the next step is to go get a diagnosis. Um, I wasn't aware that you have to pay for a diagnosis, which um, I was a little frustrated about that. But again, I'm just trying to go through the process. I am um, out of warranty like basic warranty, like the 30, 36,000 miles, but I'm still within the grace period that they have, which is 24,000 miles after the warranty. So um, currently at the status that I'm at right now is I, um, excuse me, I got to focus right here, guys, because I don't want to spill nothing. Yeah, just bear with me, guys, because if I spill all this fucking oil, on my car, I'm gonna be highly upset. And I'm gonna have to cut the video because y'all don't wanna hear me cursing up a storm and all that stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh man, kinda, kinda went loose on me for a second too. All right, let me get it. Oh, so it was just a little bit this time, okay. But anyways, um, as I was saying, I, I paid for the diagnosis let me move the camera this way for you guys. I paid for the diagnosis. Um, what came of that is now I had to call back FCA and they looked at um, what happened at the Dodge dealership and now they're saying that I qualify for it to be um, escalated to a uh, case manager, which um, I was like, okay. I had the dude break it down to me because he was saying a bunch of words that I didn't really get. But basically what that means is um, that uh, um, the case manager is gonna overlook what happened at the Dodge dealership and they're, and he or she is going to uh, you know determine whether or not they're gonna fully cover it or pay a certain percentage to covering it and then I would have to pay the remainder. So that's currently where I'm at. Um, I don't know if you guys could see um, how much I poured in here, but it wasn't much. I probably didn't even have to take it off. But um, usually what I do is every time I get an oil change, I take it off just, you know, you never know what, what, what's caught in there after you get a fresh oil change. So that's what I normally do. So that's done. Um, let me lay this on the ground. So I wanna get that shit off my car. Cover this back up. Um, shout out to all the people telling me, "Oh, uh, I didn't need to get, I didn't need to get a uh, an oil catch can because if the factory doesn't deem it necessary, then you shouldn't put it on your car." Hey, man, it's my car. I can do what I want. Just how you can do what you want with your car, man. So enjoy yourself, and I'll enjoy myself. Cool, cool. But anyways, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Look at all the stickers I got on, on underneath the hood of my car. I never really show that, but yeah, it's sort of like my little personal thing. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this video, guys. My name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. Um, appreciate all the support, guys. Keep watching. Keep sharing. I, I greatly appreciate it. Keep commenting. Um, I, may, I make sure to go out of my way to comment on everybody um, that leaves a comment. And also, too, make sure you guys check out Free Smoke. That's where you'll see Fat Cat, Garage Driven, and myself, you know, uh, doing um, daily videos. Um, and then on Sunday, we actually go live. So um, with, with a special guest. So, yeah, you guys uh, stay tuned for all of that stuff. Like I said, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, whoa. Fast drive. I don't know if you guys saw that. But anyways, well, at least he made a bunch of noise for no reason in the neighborhood. But anyways, um... Yeah, man, I'll catch you in the next video.